Welcome to another episode of I'm Dying to Tell You. This is Dr. Mark Goulston, and I'm sharing things with you that the universe is telling me to share with you. I've listened to people for 50 years, uh, but frequently didn't share with them what I was thinking because my focus was on alleviating their hurt as opposed to just impressing them with my insights and whatnot. But the universe has said, you know, Mark, it's time for you to share what you've learned because you've learned a lot in 50 years. Uh, also, I got a pretty decent night's sleep, so I may look a little less dragged out on some of these episodes. I want to share with you something that I think will be an upcoming blog somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to post it. And I'll just go over it because I think it might be helpful uh, if you're starting a new job. And I believe the title of the blog will be How to Win Friends and Influence People when you're new on a job. And I covered three things that I think will help you do that, especially with a, a manager, if you're a new person. The, the first step is, uh, again, have a conversation, work your way into the conversation. But the first thing you say to them is, um, can I ask you a few hypothetical questions that you know might help my performance for you, my success with your group and your team. Hopefully they'll say, okay, and don't belabor it, by the way. You know, you know, managers don't have a lot of time for things that are not immediately applicable. And the first thing you say is uh, um, going forward, uh, what, uh, what is your role and responsibility? And what would be the best thing that I could do to contribute to your success and the success of our group uh, and see what they tell you and keep them talking? Sometimes they'll appreciate that because they don't even think that clearly because they're so busy with the details of the day. And then when they share what that is, uh, write it down or repeat it back to them. This is too important for me to forget, is this what you said? Wait for them to say yes. The second thing is uh, going forward, uh, I, I, I want to be someone that you're as glad I joined your team in one, two, or three months as hopefully you are today. So we're starting out and uh, going forward, what must I always do and what must I never do so that you're glad that I'm on the team as opposed to you're thinking, oh, what did I get stuck with? And then if you're willing, I'd like to check in with you once a month to see how I'm doing, how you'd modify that, what I can improve in. And uh, I'm eager to learn and I don't get defensive that easily because I'm eager to learn. The third thing is a real keeper. Uh, what you say to them, what is the job that's really important to our group success that nobody wants to do? They do it, but they do it begrudgingly or nobody wants to do. So what is a job or task that nobody wants to do? And then what happens is do that job, become excellent at it, have a positive attitude, because when you combine the trifecta of doing the job that nobody wants to do, becoming excellent at it, which will prove to yourself, well, if I can get excellent at that, I can get excellent at anything. And finally, have a positive attitude. If you combine those th three things, you will be a unicorn. And you might check out, what? Well, think in your own mind. How often have you run into someone doing a job they couldn't stand, becoming excellent at it, and being positive about it? If you have found such a person, Tell us about it in the comments. So I hope that helps you to win friends and influence people and get off to the right start when you're starting a new job.
Good luck.